Welcome final expense agents and brokers to the most popular audio training and podcast in the industry, The Lead Jerk Show, where we cut through the red tape and give you only the best in expert interviews. So strap in and grab a cold beverage and get ready to learn and earn. Now it's my pleasure to introduce you to the one and only Matt Lowry, also known as The Lead Jerk. All right, everybody, we're here with David Duford, and he is with SEAgentMentor.com. I've known David for several years now in the final expense industry, and I would say he's one of the better trainers that I've come across uh, in, in the recent years. And we're going to be discussing his final expense uh, uh, inner circle program that he's put together for uh, final expense agents. So uh, sit back, enjoy and uh, take notes. Thanks guys. And remember, for the best final expense leads in the country, visit www.theleadjerk.com. Again, www.theleadjerk.com. Thanks guys. Hey everybody, it's uh, Matt Lowry, The Lead Jerk. I'm here with David Duford. And uh, David's got a new program he has come out with. And I know from, from the looks of it, he's worked really hard on it. Looks like he's got some really good stuff in there for um, agents. And uh, David, just real quick, if uh, for those who may not know who you are and haven't heard our um, previous podcast, could you give us a little summary and wrap up of uh, you know who you are, how you got into this, and kind of what you what you've been doing the last few years? Yeah, man, absolutely, Matt. Thanks for having me on today's broadcast. I appreciate it. It's always good to talk to you. Yes, sir. Yeah, my name's Dave Duford. I am the uh, uh, Chief Pumba uh, of uh, Final Expense Agent Mentor, and now the uh, recently created and devised and schemed uh, Final Expense Inner Circle. And uh, basically, what I've done is uh, uh, over the past six years, I've been involved exclusively in the Final Expense business uh, as a personal producer. Uh, I personally produce every week, just like you guys do, probably who are listening to this and also recruit and mentor agents who want to work with somebody who has firsthand experience actually working final expense versus just recruiting. Uh, in addition, uh, I've recently come out with this inner circle program as a way to offer training and mentorship and coaching uh, to agents that aren't necessarily wanting to put their contracts or put their uh, business with me. Maybe they're happy with their current organization, but appreciate the value of uh, next level coaching uh, in the form of live stream uh, video calls, one-on-one uh, -on -one consults with myself, as well as access to my plethora of training materials. So uh, this is a new program, kind of what we're going to talk about today and, and give you more information about that. Sure. And I want to plug your website right quick. It's um, your your main, or do you want to uh, send people to your main website or where would, where would they go for more information about this program, Dave, if they just want to kind of click around while they're listening? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, best thing to do would be to go to uh, feagentmentor.com. That's my my homepage, my kind of uh, you know primary operations. Mm -hmm. And on the top navigation bar, you're going to find uh, Final Expense Inner Circle. And if you watch that, um, or at least click that link, you'll get a, a more or less a basic description of what I just described. There's a webinar that you can log into and, and see more information about it. Uh, this conversation we're about to have will serve to explain a lot of that, so it'll be a little bit redundant. But um, if you wanted to do that as well, you certainly can. Cool. All right. So, um, with that being said, let's let's touch on a few of the things um, you know on the inner circle uh, membership and kind of. Uh, I'm curious to see you know kind of how what, what your reasoning was for doing it. Obviously, like you said, yeah. a lot of stuff coming from somebody that actually. Um, has sold versus somebody that uh, is a paper tiger. So, uh, you know, I guess who who is it primarily designed for, David? Um, as far as the, yeah, you know that that kind of stuff goes. Yeah, the, you know, there's there's a ton of final expense agents in this business, and probably the biggest complaint uh, new and experienced agents have is is uh, really getting the proper training to help them when it comes to underwriting carrier selection, uh, sales training skills, and uh, pretty much having some kind of, uh, you know, mentoring or coaching type of relationship. This this business, as you know, 
can be very lonely. I, in fact, think we're all, to some extent, lone rangers. You know, we have to get up every morning, go out and produce, find the business, kill it, bring it back, yep. do it again the next day over and over again. And um, it, it leaves, it's not like in a traditional sense where you've got a home office and you can you know, have camaraderie with, with like-minded people. And there's a tremendous amount of value in that. And so this, this inner circle program is, is, is really designed to fill that void. Um, I've done a ton of training products in my career that I've always offered, whether or not, um, you know, for a fee to people who aren't a, a part of my organization. And uh, what I decided to do is kind of roll it all into a package on a low monthly subscription basis while also getting the agents access to things like um, the ability to uh, commemorate with uh, or commensurate with other agents like themselves through our private Facebook group, uh, through um, our live coaching calls we do twice a month where we go into detailed training on all things final expense, uh, consults with me personally to help them on an individual basis. And so it's really just designed, unfortunately, to um, to really just uh, overcome the biggest lack that there is in this business, which really is training and, and support. Sure, and I uh, and I know with you've had thousands and thousands of what I call sits, where you know you're face to face with somebody, and sure. uh, all, all that goes along with that. For anybody listening, it it, it, it seems like it's not much, but it's a lot going on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I would think that would really help somebody getting out there and, uh, you know, especially from somebody that's had so many, so many sales calls to actually trying to figure out, you know, what, what's this business all about, you know? Um, right. as far as, as far as the specific things, I know you've mentioned, um, the membership tie, uh, the membership site, you've got, uh, it looks like twice a month live streaming training sessions. Uh, prospecting, obviously, direct mail, phone leads, carriers, sales, um, and it looks like you've got some prospecting uh, recordings that actually help a lot too. Can you can you touch on that? Because yeah. I think that's really important. Yeah, yeah. So, so the big thing to me is 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 not just teaching, but but showing. You know, not, it's not just tell; it's also show. So, one of my products that I used to sell as an individual standalone product included approximately 45 live sales calls with me if you could imagine hidden mic in the call with the prospect and me doing whatever I could to try to close the person right. some of the audio I do sell them some of them I don't but the benefit to the listener the agent who wants the training is actually going to hear what essentially is like a fly on the wall experience of what it is it's like to sell and so what we do is I use a lot of this material in the actual live coaching calls that we do twice a month so, for example, we usually do a Mondays at one o'clock presently, and so every other Monday. And what I'll do, like today, later on, I'm going to uh, take a a think about it objection that I heard on a sales call, and we're going to deconstruct what I said and why I said it, and how I said it, but and not just tell you the script like most sales trainers do. We're going to actually right. listen to an actual call, so you can see what it is that I said and and why it works in action and and. and you as well as I know, Matt, that ride-alongs are the most powerful sources of, of experience and training in this business. Seeing sure. is believing. Yep. And it, sometimes it's hard to get that, especially with somebody who knows what they're doing. A lot of people who recruit in this business recruit because their multi-level marketing setup tells them to, but they don't have the actual sales experience. Well, and this, this is like a close second. You get to listen to myself pitch. And then we break it down step by step so you can better understand why something is said. And there, I, I can't explain it exactly why, Matt, but there's just something powerful from a training standpoint to actually hear it and to digest it and to think about it in such a way that, you know, it, it you see it makes sense in the real world, not just on paper. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's only so much um, role playing you can do that's going to be right. beneficial. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's uh, <laughs> Because you get, you know, you get curveballs thrown at you once, once in a while. But yeah, I agree. Um, the ride long or being able to actually listen in to what's going on during a, during during the process um, from A to Z is, I would think, would be pretty pretty powerful. Um, right. So that's that's a huge plus. Um, you've also got the the once a month private coaching call in, 
where you can basically ask you anything as it relates to final expense. Can you can you tell us a little bit about that? Because I would imagine that probably gets pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's I, to me, it's it's really a good opportunity. You know, it's, it, group coaching is good. I like group coaching because part of the benefit that you get from like a mastermind or a group coaching experience is that you get to play off of the experience that you hear others have. And a lot of the times you find that a lot of the people share the same things and it helps you feel better about the frustrations you're going through or, you know, that you're not the only one that are wondering these questions and you grow from the experiences others go through. But as well as, as that's important, there's also the personal private approach that also has major advantages to helping you overcome certain scenarios, maybe some setbacks that you have or some struggles that you're having that really can be best uh, described or reviewed with somebody who, again, who would take the role of a mentor to help you see through maybe the struggles they're having in order to get to the next level. So that's where the once a month coaching calls come in. And typically I spend about 20 to 30 minutes on the phone and we really just spend time answering whatever questions or challenges that you're having. You know, like the last coaching call we did, uh, many of the calls are about uh, how to improve sales numbers. Uh, many of the calls are about uh, uh, running past prospects that they had that were difficult to place and me telling them which carriers to get. You know, it, one of the goals that I have is when somebody joins my program, I want the person to actually see a measurable difference tangibly in what it is that they're taking home from the training and value that they get. It's, it's really important for me. And I think the one-on-one -on -one coaching call can take that to the next level again because very few people are getting much of any kind of, a, of, of accountability or, or analysis into what they're doing in order to improve themselves. So the one-on-one -on -one approach does a really good job of honing in to each individual and uh, improving upon, uh, you know, what it is they, they need improved on. Yeah, and as, I mean, if we heard before, it's, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy. It can get easy, <clears throat> uh, easier. Right. Um, but, yeah, I think that's important because, I mean, no matter what, you gotta you gotta work for it, right? And uh, yeah, you think you can get with a with a with a group coaching, and then on top of the individual call, I think is a is a plus because some agents have different you know different sticks they have that they're dealing with, um, right. you know, it, and it could be anything. So that's that's good that you're you make yourself a, a available a, available for that. Um, then you got also your uh, I know you got your wholesale price on your Facebook and uh, uh, telemarketing leads, and I think there's a way, um, if I recall, there's a way that I viewed where, and I'm not sure how far you want to go into this, maybe something somebody needs to talk to you one-on-one -on -one about, or we can cover it here either way, um, a way to get discounts on their leads, or I, I'm not real sure how that works, because that's kind of a... Uh, like a promo you got with the with the, the inner circle can you want to touch on that or is that something they need to call you directly about or yeah yeah um basically what i'll say is this you know we um we negotiate pricing on uh basically wholesale pricing on certain lead programs mm -hmm. and uh, part of paying your monthly subscription you get access to those uh wholesale pricing um and basically i pass the price along uh, directly to you, the agent. Um, I don't make a, a uh, I guess you could say, a, a profit on right, the leads. Right. I just pass along my transaction cost and the cost that I acquire the leads at. And and that's cool because if you're going to get the leads anyway, you might as well through me at a lower price. If, if assuming you know it's what you're looking for. Um, so that way, the reason and the reason I did that is because, um. You know, we can show a tangible value, like I said prior to that. You know, if you can save a right. good chunk of money on leads you would have bought anyway, it's going to already just tell you that, hey, you know, investing this monthly fee in the membership is going to produce an immediate return on my investment. investment. Sure, sure. And, uh, Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, now, something I think is real cool is the Facebook private groups, right? And the group texting yeah. program, which. A lot of people have the group texting, you know, they say they do, but you probably got it set up a little different. So, so what's going on with the private, uh, the private Facebook group? That's that's a killer idea. Yeah, well, this has been, admittedly, the most unexpected positive benefit 
out of the um, out of this this inner circle program. So the Facebook group is essentially it's a private Facebook group. If you're in the inner circle program, you gain access to it. That's where I do my twice a month uh, group coaching calls. But what it's turned out to be is a great uh, almost uh, you know uh, intermediary uh, meeting group to where people can share ideas, ask questions. And not just get responses from me necessarily, but up from other like-minded positive agents that also are uh, new or experienced. And it just allows for a sharing of ideas and opinions. But, but the key thing that what, what I love about it is it's all completely positive. There's not a lot of negativity. There's not uh, pissing matches. Right. People uh, trying to sound that they're better than you or they're not going to call you names or, or it's, it's not going to be like a troll fest, I guess you could say, if you're in, enter the Internet thing. I mean, this yeah. is all designed <laughs> with the idea of improving, uh, you know, uh, our ability and skills as final expense agents. And, and it's been wonderful. Uh, there's a thread right now that has 50 comments in it, and it's about a guy who's been dealing with the deadbeats of final expense, you know, and, and people have given their, you know, their, uh, you know, opinions and kind of experiences. And, and then what you find is, is in an environment where people are, are, are willing to be honest and be, uh, I guess I could say, I know it may sound a little corny, but vulnerable. You right, get people a little who more transparent. Kind of, yeah, in a private group. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so people are more willing to be honest and transparent and, and return. And so um, it's created its own, it's a life of its own. And, um, you know, if, if you're into Facebook and you like that, um, this is great to have. And it's, it's just been a great way to add more value to everybody. And also kind of create a community effect, which again is the biggest thing that lacks in, in the final expense business because it's such a individualistic Lone Ranger type of profession. It is, <clears throat> it is. Um, especially if you've got, um, and I'm not sure how you set up, how you set up the group. I'm a, I'm a member of a few groups that are set on uh, closed. And uh, <laughs> the thing I like about that is, well, you know, closed groups, there's you really can't see anything unless you're a member. Right, so exactly. So I like that too mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, some of the stuff we discuss sometimes as agents, you know, you don't you don't necessarily want it everywhere. So that's that's cool. Exactly. Um, so as far as, um, I know you've got the, you've got a, a couple of different things there too, like you've got your sales training mastery, you've right. got door knocking mastery. Can you touch on each one of those? Yeah, exactly. So those are those are two standalone products that, you know, for the last year, year and a half, I've sold as uh, just kind of like a, an e-course. And you would buy it for one fee and then or installment plan. And then, you know, you jump in, learn, learn the process that I teach agents in my agency how to sell and how to door knock. And so instead of offering those as standalone products now, um, what I encourage people to do is invest in the membership program and they can get them get free access to them as a member um, for, you know, much lower fee than what I would normally charge uh, standalone. So, you know, if one part of the thing we do is, you know, I teach my entire four-step sales training process. As you mentioned earlier, I've got over 40 audio sales calls and door knocks that, you, that agents can listen to to learn how I do things. We've got scripts. We've got, um, you know, geez, pretty much everything conceivable that you'd need to door knock and sell effectively. And uh, if you're lacking training or if you're not happy with the training, I mean, this is a, this is a part of the program. There's no additional cost, and it would be a tremendous cost alone if you bought it alone, but you get it for free, you know, as part of the, as being a member. So it's a cool little extra to have. Well, and something that, that I was thinking about earlier uh, when I was thinking about this, this podcast was um, – and I know you do this too, as far as carriers. I remember talking to you three or four years ago, and I think you said one of the one of the constant things that you you had, were noticing was you know the change of you know how carriers change stuff. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, they don't change pricing a lot, but they'll change some other things. Can't do you kind of have a way to um, as far as you know? I, I get. I don't want to say carrier support, but like carrier. You know, is there information where something happens, you guys discuss a carrier doing this, or there's different underwriting guidelines, or there's a different, you know, there's a, there's a cutoff at this for this. They're, you know, they're taking on a new 
um, you know, uh, diagnosis or there's a cutoff at this age for this rate of commission, yada, yada. Yeah, I mean, if you're asking, do we have conversations about change-ups and carriers, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, being a private group, being being something that's not publicly spoken, you know, yeah. we'll have conversations about change-ups and carriers, you know, because a lot of groups don't want to have that conversation for nope. whatever reason. Yeah, I think because, they should. I think they should. It's yeah, good to do that. It, it's always it's always baffled me, you know. I know there's there's other groups that don't want to upset the apple cart and make certain agents mad or you know, or, yeah. or appear negative. Well, I, I guess I can understand Politics, this, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. So you know, we we have honest conversations about the pros and the cons of carriers. Not not necessarily, you know. Again, we're not out to throw any particular agent under under the bus, right? Or you know, any carrier for that matter. Sure. But you know, look, most most of us in this group are probably going to be brokerage agents. I would say ninety percent. And, and part of being a broker is trying to figure out which carriers work the best for the business that they run. And so we spend an, a lot of time discussing any change-ups, any advantages certain carriers have, because again, it all comes back to actually getting your money's worth out of this program. And knowing that one carrier is gonna be better for X condition than another, and that may be the difference between getting the case and not closing it, Right. thus make money. You know, this, this is how, again, you know, we try to uh, get us, get you, the agent, more value and, and more money in your pocket. And I would, uh, you know, geography's got a lot to do with that too. Where is the agent located? You know, um, yeah, yeah. As far as who they can even write. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. And there's, there's, again, being a broker, we have so many carriers that we, yeah, I have a very good familiarity with the number of appointments I've run, well into the thousands, and you know, uh, working with agents nationally in my agency, you know. Um, you know, we talk about them all. And you've so got experience, and you've got experience in that, and having to switch up and use different carriers in different states. You worked different states before, so you, you definitely know what you know, what that what yeah, that's oh, yeah. like. So that's that's a huge plus. Um, what, what's what's uh, what's been the response? Have you? Um, I mean, I would think guys should be you know kind of excited about this if they're gonna if they're looking for <clears> a, a go to. Uh, program. I know you worked your ass off putting it together. I can tell. Yeah. Um, so yeah. what's it, uh, what's been the feedback? Yeah, the positive. The reception's been very positive. Um, uh, more actually than I expected to get started. And um, you know, it just it it shows me that a lot of people just don't have the kind of training that they really would like. They they may be happy on some level with the organization they work with, but. They feel like, hey, I, maybe I can get to the next level if I have someone that can, you know, that I can invest my money and therefore be accountable to. I mean, that's a big portion, I think, in the mentality to what this program does. I mean, look, you're you're not investing a fortune by any stretch. I mean, this is reasonably priced. Yep. But the but I believe in any kind of coaching and mentoring, when you exchange your hard-earned money, that's going to make you more accountable to actually show up to the coaching calls, to schedule a call with me personally. To review the material that you have access to and, and what what bad could come from that you know you can only take from that and the odds are very high and because the price point's so low it's very easy whether you get discounted leads or get better training and improve your skill level that you're going to see a measurable advantage out of it you know and that's what, again that's beating the dead horse here but that's what it's all about you know people like that what um and, yeah and two you know and I've touched on this before with some other people as far as the I, I and I would say this I would think about most guys that write a decent amount of of annual premium every year you know there's the groups out there and again I'm, I'm not bashing anybody but we know who they are they're rah rah um, and it's just you know when guys are needing to make money they're ready to get down to business and right. Uh, you know, after a while, the the rah rah calls, um, you know, people fall off of them because a lot of times, and I've I've uh, been on some of those calls. A lot of times, uh, there's no substance after you know the third or fourth one. It's um, <laughs> right. you know, it's more of <laughs> it's more of a recruiting call than anything. There's right. you know probably. 95% recruiting, 
versus 5%, you know, maybe touching on something that actually has to do with business and um, putting money in that agent's bank account. So I've always appreciated right. that about you. You've never come over the top as far as uh, doing anything like that. And guys should look real carefully at at uh, groups that do that and look at um, what you have to offer here. Um, and yeah, if you if you if you're looking for uh, you know uh, Kool Aid drunkery fest, then don't <laughs> yeah. talk to me because after, honestly, I, I you know the market is cornered on that one. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't I don't have any interest in that. And if anybody's ever watched any of my training materials, you know, to me, <laughs> what I focus on is the substantive stuff. You know, what can you actually do to be a superior expert at this business? You know, if, if you want to do, if you want to be motivated and you want to, you know, feel better about yourself, but like not actually necessarily develop your skill <laughs> level, then, yeah. then keep listening to those calls. You know, I'm not saying they're necessarily negative either, but, but what I've always thought is there's a lack of the substance and that's the severe issue that we have in this business. And that's what I'm trying to remedy was the inner circle program. Well. That that statement that con- this conversation we're having right now reminds me of a uh, not too long ago I watched uh, somebody interviewed Dan Pena and he was saying that he actually um, had mm-hmm. talked with you know university students <coughs> that had mm-hmm. read upwards of seven hundred how to or uh, self improvement books but hadn't done a damn thing. You know, and (laughs) (laughs) so, you know, uh, and he called it out for what we've heard before, Um, you know, they're they're paralyzed and uh, they won't do anything. And I think something like this would actually get guys if they've got a um, uh, it's it's a map. It's a map is what it is um, to to get started. Now, are you seeing where um, are you getting all facets of agents uh, coming in as far as is it is it new guys veterans mid-level what are, what are you seeing on that um, I always like to kind of dip my uh, <clears throat> toe in the water and kind of how the yeah the industry's going yeah it's a good question it's it's a good cross-section of, of everything I've got guys that are uh, old, you know been in the business longer than I've been alive yeah I've got guys <laughs> that are just getting started and they just just happened to, you know, they stumbled across my website, heard about the Inner Circle program and joined that way. So it's really, it's a good mixture. You know, it's not just a bunch of newbies and me, you know, it's, right. it's people who are a cross section and from different parts of the country and different marketplaces, you know, and so, and it's not necessarily everybody is, uh, you know, in agreement on everything too, you know, sure. so we have conversations about different topics and there's not always a hundred percent you know, consent, I was not consent, 100% agreement. Right. And, and with a particular topic, but that's good for you because you get different perspectives and opinions because we've all kind of, although we're in the same industry, we all kind of do experience things at different rates and in different ways. And so, but yeah, you just really get a good bit of everything. I mean, uh, you know, it's definitely good for new agents, but the experienced agents definitely uh, are, are joining for a reason too because they feel like continually improving skills is, is important to developing self-development yeah that's cool there's some there's some back and forth there and that's probably um, somewhat geographically based too I, I'm always amazed to hear some agents in different parts of the country the things that they deal with I never deal with and things that I yeah. deal with they never deal with um, as far right. as a, a, you know a final expense prospect goes and uh, you know, delivering coverage and stuff like that. So, interesting. That's that's good stuff. Um, all right. So, look. Let's see here. What have we been on here now? Right at twenty eight minutes. What is there anything else you want to cover, David? Um, is there anything that I've missed, or is it? Uh, they don't have to go anywhere special, right? Just go to your website, and that's where they can actually find everything they need right there on that on that. Um, at the top of the site, is that correct? Yeah. So if you're if you like what you've heard so far, if you have a an interest in, in potentially joining the Inner Circle program, the next step would be to go to 
uh, feagentmentor.com. That's my final expense agent mentor recruiting website. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to hard recruit you. I got a lot of free <laughs> training and stuff. You know, you contact me if you're interested. If, if not, that's fine too. But you'll notice at the top, there's a, at the navigation bar at the top, you'll see final expense center circle. Mm -hmm. Click that link, and then uh, there's a webinar. Go ahead and watch the webinar because I, although I said in the beginning, you know, well, you probably cover most here, there's a little bit more in specifics that you can go check out. Um, click that, watch it in its entirety. And at the very end, there'll be an offer that you can set up a payment program uh, for the membership dues if it's something you'd like to do. And uh, bada bing, you'd be done. So, uh, and, and again, that will go in a little bit more, a little bit more detail. Sure. And what so I'll do, that's I'll, how to do it if you're interested in checking it out. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link to, if you're watching this or listening to this on YouTube, I'll put a link um, under the video in the description that goes right to that page, to the Inner Circle page as well. And uh, I'll put a, a link uh, anywhere this, this gets shared or posted. I'll make sure there's a link in there that people can click on and just go right to it. Uh, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Sweet. Well, great, man. Um, look, I appreciate you uh, being here. Uh, Money, I know you got this is probably one of your busier days. Um, you oh, probably yeah. got a, a big to-do list today. So I appreciate you taking time to... To do this sure. with us and uh hopefully we can get your name out there a little bit more and uh get some guys uh that are uh on my list and to subscribe to me to kind of look and check out what you got going on there because i think i think it's needed um god i don't have the time to do it i don't know how you do it <laughs> it's a lot of it's stress, I that's, that's what i want to stress <laughs> there's a lot of work that's that that goes on behind the scenes to put <clears> something <throat> like this together um, guys right. need to real, realize that this, there's a ton of work, a lot of research, a lot of um, creativity and stuff like that that goes on to, to make something like this happen. Um, so when you take a look at this, just keep that in mind. And uh, cool, yeah. Well, I'll uh, I'll get this done. And what I'll do, David, is I'll um, as soon as it's ready, I got it ed uh, edited. And uh, ready to go, I will shoot you over a uh, a link and everything to it. And uh, again, that's feagentmentor.com. And then go to the um, the link there on the navigation that says Final Expense Inner Circle. Again, there'll be a link in the description of the video if you're watching this on YouTube. If not, I'll put it uh, wherever it's shared. So if... Uh, if that's good with you, I'm good. And, uh, you know, anything else you want to add? No, nope, man, that's it. I appreciate the interview and the uh, opportunity to share this new program with your listeners, Matt. And as always, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Sure, man. Let's keep in touch and uh, keep on keeping on, David. We're, uh, we're, uh, we're going to be one year older next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> All right, we're very good. Go enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I will talk to you soon, my friend. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, you too, Dave. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. That was a great interview with David, and I encourage you all to visit his website at feagentmentor.com. There will be uh, a link under the video if you're watching this on YouTube. If not, just head to feagentmentor.com and look at the top of his website to the right a little bit and you'll see uh, Final Expense Inner Circle uh, to get more information on that. Again, this is Matt Lowry. Uh, I appreciate David's time and I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. If you need anything, feel free to call us 404-580-7151. And remember, for the best final expense leads in the country, visit www.theleadjerk.com. Thanks, guys.